And right now, Wing Commander Anil Goyal, pilot and aviation expert on this broadcast. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for joining us here on India Today. Not the best of news for Vistara ahead of the Air India merger, but we hear about this far too often, about a pilot crisis that clearly airlines don't watch out for, leading to this kind of a crunch and thereby cancellations and delays. What does Vistara now need to do to keep this in check and immediately resolve this crisis? I'm... Uh... Very good evening to all of you and to all the viewers. Uh, whenever there is a boom or a downside in the market, we always we have always seen there are mergers taking place. Mergers are not new in the aviation industry. Um, if you look a decade back, Indian Airlines and Air India Express were merged back. That time also there were a lot of problems. Before that, if you look at the US industry or the European industry, aviation industry, there have been a lot of mergers which have gone bad. So it is something which is not new, which has happened in the past also. But uh, uh, every time the same story comes out that the when the two organizations merge, there are differences in their um, visions or goal. The, all the stakeholders are not uh, taken on board in the correct manner. And the cultures are not integrated. In an aviation... Yeah. Sure. So just a, a, an additional question to that, which is that with the pilots raising questions over the pay structure, over rostering, do you think some of the issues they're raising are very, very fair and need to be addressed by the airline? Yes, ma'am. So what happens, the, the, these, were two, these are two airlines which had different vision and different uh, management structure. So when a pilot joined uh, um, A airline or a B airline, there were certain uh, policies there as far as human uh, resource management is concerned. So these policies, uh, when the, both these uh, companies merge or the airlines merge, these policies also need to be taken into consideration. So if uh, a, a pilot is getting uh, disadvantage, of course, there, he needs to be brought on board, he needs to be assured, and uh, he needs to be taken care of. So in terms of not only for the salary, but in, not, uh, in terms of promotion also, and in terms of allowances also. So all these aspects of the pilot life needs to be looked after. Apart from this, uh, since uh, a pilot's job is very stressful, so his uh, work-life management or balance is also to, also has to be ensured. So maybe uh, when we talk about this crisis right now, the pilots are feeling that uh, they are being shortcharged or uh, uh, their concerns are not being looked after by the new management. This is very natural uh, to happen. And, and do you, do you feel in such a case, sir, when, when pilots often feel this, if we see issues with regards to raw string pay structure happen far too often. So my final question to you, Wing Commander Goyal, is do you believe that the onus, there must be a greater onus on airlines because at the end of the day, this trickles down. Passengers are struggling. There are over 100 flights that have been cancelled. Of course, ma'am, whenever the merger takes place uh, and this kind of disruption takes place, the final don't stop at the passengers. They are the worst sufferers in this whole uh, situation. But I would only urge the management and the pilots to help out the custom because the summer season has just started and the schools uh, very soon will be going into holidays and a lot of traveling will take place in India in the summer yeah. season. People will go back it's to their home. It's peak season. It's peak yes, season. So that hopefully everyone will, will come coming. together and work this out at the soonest. Thanks very much, Wing Commander Goyal. Unfortunately, I've run out of time, but thank you for joining us with your insights on this.